Well, Justin is taking a, a last photograph here. Congratulations to this last uh, team. Uh, thank you. Um, got a couple of things that we need to do before we finish here today. And um, before we, before everybody disappears, I want to extend a, my thanks to a number of people. First, uh, to the friends at GS1 US who have worked together with us in creating this event, including Melanie Hilton and Bob Chekowitz. Bob was just up here, so nice job, Bob. As well as the support from Bob Carpenter, who's the CEO of GS1. So we're really grateful for that. But there's a lot of other people who have been working behind the scenes to make this happen. Uh, Probably foremost is Catherine Nunziata sitting at the table in the back there, so we're grateful for her. <laughs> There's a number of other people on the MIT events team and then the comms team, including Sarah. Um, let's see here. Uh, Marina, Emily, Benji, Dan, and Chris. So you've seen them around and working and appreciate that. And for the gentleman in the back and the table, I want to say thanks to you for making the AV and all the systems go well. That's Owen, Justin, and Eric. So please, a round of applause for them. Um, now, end of the day, remember what I said at the very beginning. I asked you to take some notes on what are some of your ahas and insights. And so I'm going to let you do this in two ways. One is I've asked, uh, Catherine's putting up a poll right now, so you can, there's an unlimited number of characters, but I'd like you to write down what are some of your ahas, your takeaways, your insights from this particular session. All right, we had a, five different sessions. Try to remember each of those. Go back to your notes. Think about what some of the key takeaways are for those. You can write multiple ones. So I'm going to give you a few moments to do that. If somebody would prefer to raise their hand and be bold enough to actually use words in the microphone, I'm going to come down and I'll ask you to, to share your thoughts. That might be easier for some. I know it's not what we've done today, but there's still time left for human input here, this direct human input. Oh, it looks like you all want to write. OK, that's fine. And what I'll do is, uh, is it possible, uh, Catherine, to put up the slide for the museum? Great. So as you're tapping away with your input, um, and uh, you'll be able to get inspired by some of the input that you see up here. Um, I put a, we made a little slide here to help you understand how to get to the reception. And it's quite simple. Um, we're going to exit using the elevator. And from the elevator, it goes straight out the elevator, out the exit. And you can see this image up here. That you're, we're in building E14 right now. So when you exit, you're going to follow that blue line. And that will take you out to Carlton Street. You'll basically walk about 30 yards, maybe 20 yards, just past a little bit of construction. And then that's Carlton Street. But it's basically a first street, and you're just going to go walk straight down that towards the a T. Around here, we call it the T. It's the trans, the local transit, the subway. And just to the left of that is the MIT Museum. It might take you three minutes to walk there. It's really not that far, but there's a lot of buildings here. It might be easy to get lost in and amongst those. So I want to make sure. So that's there for your edification. Um, we're going to have some refreshments and um, some libations. And so let's just see what we got here. New life stages, gray, delayed, small, and female, just right from the mouth of Joe Coffin himself. I think we left a lot of questions on the table and a lot of things for us to think about. Particular to that, um, I was very pleased to be uh, able to work with uh, Wes and Julie and Joe, but I think there's a lot of... Uh, other things that we need to really try to understand is how are these dynamics and changes going to affect supply chains? What do we need to do? I don't think we know the answers to those, but I think we need to start asking those questions and particularly thinking about the kind of changes we need for the people that we need. Um, reflecting on just the very last session with the, um, the introductory session by Charlie Saul, the importance of culture, and really that's the importance of how we interrelate with human beings. And I want to juxtapose that with 
our move to use AI and have us think about, well, how are we going to be able to use a, AI in a way that allows us to empower human beings and to make human beings feel more engaged with the businesses and our organizations? I don't think we know how to do that yet. Um, that's an unresolved question, I think, that's for us to, to consider in the future. But something that you might want to start thinking about in your organizations and even thinking about the, the technology and the capabilities you need to have imbued in the employees that you will hire and that you, the ones you have on board, how you need to train them to be the ones who are providing a much higher level of service. Let's see, what else is popping up here? As you look at this, is there anything that anybody would like to volunteer or say, hey, this is really catching my attention. I would like to talk about that. Be careful if you go to scratch your hair, because I just saw somebody do that. I almost called on you. You really want the refreshments and the drinks, don't you? Interesting, privacy, how it needs to be a higher priority for me. Again, this is one of those conflicts. We're very happy to give it away in a website and from which we get something, but then we're reluctant to give that information in other environments. But really, a lot of what we want to protect is already out there. Gray is cool. I, I don't think Joe said that, but I think we're going to have to tell Joe that this is uh, one of the takeaways here. Uh, good master data is a unicorn. Don't we all know that? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, as it looks so across the top, um, Catherine has uh, arranged this so that it organizes these. Data seems to be the big top, uh, top uh, um, subject area, automation and culture are others. No innovation without culture. How many people here were a little surprised by Charlie's comments about the importance of culture? All right, there's one honest guy here. When I first heard the presentation that uh, Charlie and his brother Dan give about that, I found it to be really surprising. We all talk about culture, but he was able to use AI tools to actually come up with hard data that helps actually suggested that, hey, it really is important. And I think probably one, one of the takeaways I would have, and I think I am having, and we can talk about this, is how we are gonna, gonna do surveys ourselves of employee satisfaction. Because we used a, a, a scale not all that different than what um, he showed, and he had suggested, and data was, would prove some out, that that's not very effective. There's some biases and some patterns that the res respondents use that don't necessarily um, get at real interest and satisfaction. Okay, I think that's about where we're gonna end it then. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. We have, there's a little bit of a time lag between now and when the the, um, I'm looking at Catherine, right? It's, it's 545, great, okay. So there is a little bit of a wee, a wee lag for, but time to take away all your things and it'll take, like I said, three minutes from the edge of the building to get there. So um, we look for, I look forward to seeing you there and hopefully be able to continue the, your conversations as we think about this. Catherine, can we capture this and then make this available? Okay, great, so whatever you're putting on here, not attributed, but we can make this available so it may inspire you to remember some of the things that other people have, that you have observed and be inspired by some of the things other people have uh, suggested. I wanna thank you very much for investing your time today in this event. I know everybody's busy, has lots of things to do. We have businesses to run. Hopefully this helps you go back and do a better job and do perhaps your work in a very different way going forward. Thank you very much.